Hi guys, uh, this is Eva from Bay Harbor Med Spa and I'm answering now a question to a young lady, her name is Rina and she's asking me the following uh, and if I understand it correctly, she said, uh, I assume that she had acne, then she had scars and uh, that she used some products that she was told or sold that would lighten the scars uh, from the uh, uh, acne and it actually uh, discarded, made it darker and made the skin much thinner. And uh, she wanted to know if there's anything that would lighten the skin for the scars that she has. So, Rina, I need to explain you something. Unless you are black, which I don't think, but I don't know. Unless you are black. Because black people, if they have cystic acne, if they have acne and it goes away, it will leave a discoloration. The acne will leave a dark purple blackish discoloration. However, on white skin, Acne does not leave a dark discoloration. Acne leaves a reddish inflammation on the skin. So if you had bad acne and if, let's say, you had cysts, and I only go because you, you guys are not sending me pictures, so I only go by words, okay? So if you had a cyst and the cyst went away, and now there is a scar. Most of the time, scars from acne are actually indentations. If you would look through a magnifying glass, you would see that what you see as a discoloration, which you call discoloration, is not a discoloration. It's, a, it's two things. It's an indentation in the skin or it's an inflammation, post-inflammation, it's reddish. It has a different color than the new skin. If it is an indentation and it's no longer inflamed, it's no longer red, by the shadow of uh, the way you stand or the way the light hits you, when something is indented, it will look darker than the rest of your skin because there's an indentation. So the light falls like in a valley this way and you see it as a discoloration. But it's really not a discoloration. It's an indentation and it just visually might look as a discoloration, but it's not a discoloration. It's a post-inflammatory uh, uh, redness of fine redness to the skin if you are white skinned I, I just assume I go by what I think uh, you are or what you email is saying so to give you something to lighten the discoloration of your acne scars uh, if you are white is silly because it's not discolored it's injured uh, th there's an indentation which means that part of the epidermis is indented, that part of the tissue of the dermis, uh, of the tissue of the flesh that the cyst or the acne scar was in is actually creating an indentation. It's like, a, ah, I will tell you in a simple a, or very simplistic way. If you had an abscess, if you had a wound, and you had pus in there. You, of course, have uh, bacteria. And it's like if these uh, 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 bacteria uh, were nibbling uh, on, uh, on uh, your flesh, on your skin, and once they stopped nibbling because they were destroyed, uh, they left and on even skin because part of that 
flesh, part of the epidermis, part of the dermis, was destroyed, was injured by the bacteria, which uh, through an infection, it's in a very simplistic way, so they nibbled, they took part of it away, and then it created a, an indentation, which visual might look like a discoloration, but that's not the case. Uh, for indentations, we, this is no discoloration white skin. So if you're white and they gave you products, they were not fair and not kind enough to you because there is nothing to lighten a, a, an inflamed skin. An inflamed skin has to come down. And in the best case, uh, when you have an inflammation or you have post-acne, no longer acne, then vitamin E and vitamin C topically would be suitable to soothe the skin and sometimes help to rebuild a little bit more of the collagen so that it, it, it would come down and it would become uh, 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 less visible. Uh, the treatment of choice for, for scars from acne is number one is microdermabrasion, number two are chemical peels, and number three are, are um, AHA and acid peels that would uh, stimulate uh, or remove physically the top layers of the skin. Sometimes you abrade the skin until a point where it just before it starts bleeding and by that action you stimulate the cells, the skin, and it regrows new skin, new epidermis, it fills up a little bit and looks less, visi less visible to the eye. And the same goes uh, if you use a chemical peel or if you use an acid peel or an AHA peel. Those are all things that would uh, stimulate to turn around the cells, slough of the cells, stimulate, irritate in a way the cells and by that action help to regrow uh, new skin which would fill up a little bit. Uh, there is another way to go about this and I don't know, you know, but for some people uh, the choice is a uh, multi-phase choice because if you really, let's say a person had really bad acne or cystic acne and it left really like pock marks all over the face. Well, these people might be candidates for laser treatments, for chemical peels, and or at times for injections with fillers. You know, like you get fillers for wrinkles, you get fillers for here, fillers for here, not Botox, fillers. Today on the market there are many fillers and a good plastic surgeon, a good dermatologist. These are the only two people that I would uh, trust that uh, people would go to, not to a dentist and not to a podiatrist because today everybody is doing fillers and these people have absolutely no understanding of the, of the skin. So either a plastic surgeon or the de a, 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 a dermatologist, you would seek and find out which fillers would be suitable to inject into the scars, into the indentation to fill them up somewhat. Um, sometimes uh, there's another possibility and that is to take your own fat which becomes in some parts of America and a lot of parts like South America it's, it's quite big and it's some parts in Europe too where they take your fat and they put the fat in a centrifuge, they separate it, and then they re-inject your own fat into, uh, into uh, your skin. And that fat, uh, sometimes it stays, sometimes it goes away after a while, but that fat you cannot be allergic to because it's your own fat, and that will sort of help to fill up and smooth out. But for this, you have to seek a very, very good doctor, a good plastic surgeon, a, or an amazing dermatologist that does this and read a lot about it, read the reputation that is out there, read how many tens or hundreds of cases they did. Uh, you want to know, you want to see and do check uh, the background of a doctor, but that is another way that you can help with uh, filling up uh, uh, the scars. So there are several ways. As I said, uh, you have injections, you have microdermabrasion, you have acid peels, um, fillers, or you have uh, your own fat injected to smooth it out. 
but lightening something that does not have to be lightened is not the solution. So I hope I answer to the best of my ability. Bye, Eva, thank you for listening.